Hello everyone, this is Evie the Original Master here, and today's video is going to be a somewhat of a small little rant video, and that is going to be regarding to Roblox Studio with the toolbox, and regarding to certain Roblox users when it comes to creating uh, models for Roblox and that are used in their games. Now, I'm going to go ahead and talk about um, the toolbox situation real quick, and... As of um, 2021, I, I will probably say maybe around September-ish or towards the end of 2021, uh, Roblox had hashtag certain words in, in the toolbox for Roblox Studio to where if you try to search it up in the toolbox, you won't be able to find those models because that they find the words that you've typed to be inappropriate. And I don't understand why all of a sudden they, they made this change. It's because that I've never had this issue before when I was using Roblox Studio all these years. And now they want to do this stuff. Like they now want to like hashtag certain words that you can't type in into the toolbox because it's inappropriate. Well, listen up here, Roblox. The words that I type are not inappropriate. Like here's, here's an example of what I'm talking about. So in the past... Um, I was able to find really good um, models in Roblox Studio in the toolbox of certain characters from, like, video games and uh, TV show or just media in general. Like, if you, if you try to type in a certain video game character, whether it's, like, Bowser or Kirby or Princess Peach, those, certain, those words that I've, that I've just dropped are hashtagged. So, meaning that you really can't search for them again in the toolbox and... That is ridiculous. Is because that I've never had this problem before. I don't know why all of a sudden Roblox Studio is now hashtagging these words for where you can't find the models again. And that just proves you right there that that Roblox is just killing their site. It's because that there's nothing inappropriate about those words. They're just they're just names of video game characters. And what are you is are you saying that they're because they're copyrighted by um, the company who owns the characters? Is that is that the reason why you've hashtagged the words? I, I, I really don't know the, the, the reasoning behind it. But yeah, that means that I really can't search up Kirby in the Roblox Studio toolbox anymore. It's because that if I do, the words the word will get hashtagged and I won't be able to find the models again. So yeah, Roblox is pretty much killing their site. Now, another problem that I have with Roblox Studio is that um I've been having problems well well it's not really a me thing it's just the whole community as a whole is that when you play certain games in roblox and you've noticed that the models in the game are so accurate to their end game counterparts and i am i'm specifically talking about games like project 3d rp now project 3d rp is a game on roblox which is which i've talked about many times already has um, character models from the Mario games that you can that you can play as in the game, and they look really good. They look really good. They look really accurate to the characters in the Mario games. And the problem is, is that is that um, I would like to wish to have access to these models, just because that, as you guys may know, that Roblox Studio in the toolbox. Some of the models on there are not really all that great. You get some you get some good models of, of the Mario characters or any characters from any franchise if you try to search them up in the toolbox. They they do look good, but they just don't look good enough. It's because that some of the models look really ugly and it doesn't look accurate to their end game counterparts. And then when I play games like Project 3D RP, I'm like, oh my gosh, this actually looks really good. And I wish that I can ha have access to these models. So I can use them for my Roblox projects. And what I mean by projects, I mean my little Mario Roblox films that I make on my channel. That's what I meant by projects. I don't make games on Roblox. So if you guys think that my Roblox projects that you guys see on my channel are like games, they're not. They're not games. They're, full, they're supposed to be films. It's because that I go to Roblox Studio, I make the scenes, and then I take a snapshot of those scenes and I add them into Movie Maker and, and, and compile them as a movie. And the fact that these creators of these games won't give you access to these models, 
it's 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 absolutely ridiculous just because that these look really cool these look really good and they're and the reason why they, they probably aren't sharing them out to you is because i don't know i think i think it'll be stealing to them and i don't understand that i really don't it's because that i i love roblox i love the the the, the creative talents behind these users who make these models and then when i come across these really unique models and then i try to go out my way to ask these people hey do you mind if you could i don't know send these models out to the public so people can have access to them so they can use them for like i don't know like a game or something they'll say no is because that is not your models it's their models and i can completely respect that but at the same time that just shows you right there that People have all these good talents and then they just don't want to share their creations out to the public. And that's super unfortunate. So that means I'm pretty much going to be stuck with those really ugly looking Roblox character models for all these years just because that people just are super protective to their creations that they're afraid that if they try, if they send it out to the public, something might happen to them. And look, I'm not going to do anything to your models. I, I am not. I'm not. It's not like I'm going to actually um, claim them to their minds. It's because that I know that they're not my models because I didn't create them. I, I was just using them. It's because that they look really good and I would like to use them for my Roblox projects. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say in this video is that um, Roblox Studios has has pretty much went downhill slightly. It's because that you can't type in certain words in the toolbox because it will get hashtagged because it's claimed to be inappropriate. That also goes with trying to save models into your into the My Models tab is because that if you save a model that you found in the toolbox as your own and you try to type in a certain word, they will also hashtag the word saying that it's that this this that this file has an inappropriate name. So you have to rename it to make it more kid friendly, which I don't understand why. But yeah. So all I can say is that I, I wish Roblox Studio wasn't the way it was. I, I wish the users on Roblox could could be a, a little bit more, I don't know, a lot more um, better when it comes to making these models. Just because that I really would like to use these models for my Roblox films and stuff. Just because that they look really accurate to the source materials, and it, it can it, 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 and then if people will watch the movies, they'll they'll say that wow, this actually looks really cool. But that's not going to be the case. It's because that people are too protective. They, they think that something's going to happen to their models if they, if they share it out to the public for people to use. And yeah, I can understand that. But at the same time, it, it sucks. It's because that it, it just really does. All right, so that's the video, you guys. This video is going on to eight minutes. I think I've rambled on too much. And yeah, so that's all I have to say about this. I'm not going to ask any questions about this in the comments to, to you guys is because you guys probably might not care about it. But anyways, that's it. That's all I have to, to provide for this video for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time with more videos in the future.